Whoa! Is he on a cloud? Oopy! Wait, no, spear gun! Oh! Oh! Welcome back to TV Show Show here hey, on SourceFed Nerd. Talking about Legend of Korra Season 4, Episode 11, Kuvira's Gambit. I'm Matt Lieberman. I'm Rena Scully. I'm William Haynes. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> this episode's the last one before the hour-long series finale, and it was packed with action. Is that true? I thought we had two more. Mm-mm. I thought we had two more too. So, no, I, I looked on, on Nick.com. It's it's the last one before the hour long special. No. So they're just combining twelve and thirteen into one. Next week's gonna be a doozy. I know. But hey man, how about this episode? I really, really enjoyed it. That freaking giant mecha suit and air air kidnapping. Airbender kidnapping that and was Prince Wu actually being good. Oh, where we start off talking that was heartwarming. I'm I'm just gonna say that Guru Lahima is turning in his grave. That oh, a bunch of airbenders, airbenders kidnap are kidnapping. somebody. I my my my. But for the greater good, it's for the greater good. Yeah, and they were all doing it in those airbender flight suits. Uh, at the top model writes, "I'm sorry, but that airbender flight suit looks terrible on Tenzin. He yeah. just grabbed really a glider. The, the, the rule and should be: too. once you turn forty, you can no longer put on an airbending or squirrel like a suit. skin suit. Like yeah. please just, don't wear that. You just can't don't. anymore. It's yeah. real cute if you're like a kid." Right. Like, I could barely still pull it off. Like, maybe. Kai could pull it off. Yeah. Kai Opal looks great. Could pull it off. Opal looks great. I'm, yeah. I'm going to say, I'm pretty sure the creators saw our TV show show and then drew me into the program, and that's why Kai exists. <laughs> that's why Kai looks like that's the way what he that, does. That's why Kai looks just you like look me. Nothing like you look Kai. nothing like Kai. But then Kai. again, when you think but about he, it, he is the. When you, you think don't have about to flowy it, hair. when you think about it, he does not have a little, little fro action. When you think about it, all right? Mm. Yeah. All when right. Why is Oopy wet? Come on, who, who's who's wet? He's just he was hanging out with Leaky. Oh, that's not the bad. That's, that's okay. gross. Probably very true. Can we just talk about the fact that we haven't seen Boomy all season? Then he shows up and he hasn't. He has not said one word. No. There are a lot of characters without yeah. any words. I understand if budgets have been cut and there's less, which makes me sad because I really like Suyun's voice. It was a very different voice. It reminded me of. Uh, it was so smooth. It's and so mm -hmm. strong. Crisp. I really love those strong woman voices. Wait, so you like Kuvira's voice? Oh, I mean, it yeah. is. It's Zelda Williams, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh yeah, I love I love it when they sound like they could just throw me into a wall. I'm very into that. I, I love. It. Sorry. <laughs> um, actually, we weren't the only ones that realized that <laughs> Boomy <laughs> was quiet. Uh, let's see. Wouter PM back uh, goes. Uh, since when is Boomy considered quiet? Is it a budget cut thing? No, it's because of his training. Okay. Oh, he's changed. He's now. he's a changed man. He lost all of his gut weight. He did. His hair is like super trim. Did you see his arms too in that suit? Yeah. It's all like bulgy. Look at muscly. him, man. Yeah, I'm telling you that Airbender diet. Once you sleep on a hard bed and you don't eat any meat <laughs> and you're genuinely sad, you will start losing weight. That's not what they are at all. I mean, you will be sad for the first couple months, I'd assume. I would assume you'd be very sad. I'd be, man. Can we turn on the Netflix? Oh, we don't do that. We don't do that here. <laughs> we don't have a TV mm -hmm. anywhere. We do have, though, we have VHS copies of uh, The X-Files. Oh. <gasps> no! no, we don't. Do we really? No, we don't. No, no really? one does. We don't. Why not? The airbenders do. Because the airbenders do. They have they, all the copies. Of all the X Files. But Why? not all of them. That's just the, only, the select episodes. That's the only thing you're allowed to watch. What about the, the movie? Temple. Like, Fight the Future. That was no. the best X Files movie no ever. ever. I don't know why they made a second ever. one. We're not talking about this anymore. Uh, um. <laughs> so I was like super excited at the top of the episode. I'm like, yeah, they're really figuring this out, right? They've got mm. this great plan. They're getting everybody out of the city. Like, Prince Wu's being great. And like, we're going to stop this railgun, whatever. And then. Then you see the giant robot. Super mecha. Super mecha. That's like six, she said it was like 25 it's stories. 25 it's like stories six, no, it's tall. 60 stories because it went through a mountain. It was over a mountain. You can see the head see, through the city. So the difference between uh, like uh, Korra and a lot of other like animated shows, like a whole bunch of powers, is that like in Korra, you, there's like not really a limit. Like you know, like in some mm. shows, you're like, I'm all out of chakra. I'm all out of magic power. Kavira muscling an entire uh, metal monster. And she's mm. like, oh, well, you know, it's like taking a walk. I was thinking yeah. about that actually, because that happens in a lot of anime mm -hmm. where uh, they, like you said, chakra and energy force or life energy or whatever. They it run takes. out. Yeah, right. they run out of energy. But I like she's it just. Though. I like it though. It means you are so strong that you can keep doing it for as long as you can. But is it that it's strong or is it like maybe powered by the spirit weapons as well? Because I think it's weird mm. that she is not even phased by how by like her moving that. Right, because she it's has tiring. she she moves it by metal bending, which is really really cool. 
Um, but yeah, you've got to admit that it's got to take a lot of strength. But like we were talking about in the last episode, with her earthbending, she seems to be just really strong. But mm -hmm. she gets tired too. Like when oh uh, yeah, she got, when they were whooping her around, yeah. like and her hair gets disheveled. She didn't get whooped around. She looks Let's tired. Not say that. That's not. <laughs> well, say I wouldn't that. say she got whooped around. Mm hmm. She walked around a little bit when Cora went into the yeah, Avatar state and like bit. threw her down and she was all like, She got hair. thrown down. She's like, yeah. oh man, my pen <laughs> fell out, but you're about to die. Exactly. Uh, no, the fact that nobody knew that this giant mech was being built, nobody, mm. nobody else knew other than Batar Jr. Nobody, well, that's crazy. That's gigantic. Wait, that's so how you then, keep a secret. Yeah, if you think Seriously, about it then, wait, though. does that mean that Kuvira and Batar I mean, are the only ones that made the mech? I but don't know. I, this is totally out of my butthole because it's 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 a it's a piece of like a animation, Poop. it's a cartoon, but realistically it could just be a giant piece of metal with a spirit weapon attached to it. Oh, I guess it so. It doesn't have to be like a whole bunch of intricacies. And yeah, like, there does need to be yeah. engineering inside yeah. of it because she's just moving she's it. She's just moving it. But, but no, she's moving it using those like huge track balls in Inside of That's the true. inside of the head, and there are switches inside on the, the inside cockpit. too. There's that switches. She's flipping. There's definitely there's electronics inside. There's like it's it's it is a robot. Mm. Like, it's I, not just a hollow man. I'll call up Brian Konetsko and Michael Dante Di Martino. I'll say, what is the type of engineering you expect? Do we want to call up our friends, Brian Konetsko? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Brian Di Martino. Yeah, the numbers are eight one eight. We their names right. Yeah. So the giant machine blew up. Like what it seems to be all of Asami's all hummingbird. All of the hummingbirds. Which, okay, Here's the my... dumbest designs ever. Why? You show your dang mouth. Asami's beautiful, and so is Seicho Gabriel. We don't need to talk about <laughs> right that right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, but my suspicion is that they got all blown up except one, and there's only one person who can pilot it. Bolin. Mm. Oh, it would be but Bolin. So, so what do you guys said to me that he's been the hero too much? It might be somebody else. No, it wasn't us who said that. I think he should be the hero all the time. I do too. There was yeah. a lot of focus no. on him. Oh man, no. He'll fly the machine up to the up to the uh, to the robot. He's gonna bring some earth with him, and then he's gonna lava bend into the robot and start messing stuff up. Or let's say oh. this is the giant thing, and right. this is a whole bunch of earth. What what boy needs to do? It stands on Earth, just lava bend this around. That's what I was like. Why didn't he do this. that during this episode? And then once it's fallen down, don't be like dumb people and just be like, oh, we did it. No, you need to cover, cover it, it in lava. And more lava. There yeah. we go. That's what call I'm Rava. We get the lava. Out. I'm saying call Rava and get the no, hot. No, stop. Let <laughs> me talk about Batar. Ooh, Ooh, sorry, buddy boy. You know he. We know he lived. He had to live. No one died in that except maybe maybe Batar's body got cut in half and cut in half. But I'm oh, glad. Oh, Batar the dad. Yeah, Batar. I'm glad. Not Batar Junior. Batar Junior. Batar Junior. Batar Junior. Okay. Yeah. I hope he realizes that uh, he was a dumb idiot. She didn't love. Well, she loved him. We no, she, she never love loved him. him. She never loved him. When she they, used him. When they hugged, it was suspect. Yeah. Because they kind of zoomed in on her face, and we all no, know she, she looked happy. She, she had her eyes closed. That's she the rule. can't feel love. That's the rule, guys. Hitler I know can't it's kind of irrelevant. Love. But if someone closes their eyes when they hugged you, that means they meant it. See, I never close my eyes when I hug. So it's that's true. how you know. Actually, mm. that's very true. No, this, the, se the season finale of Doctor Who said that hugs. Uh, a hug is just a way to hide your face. Spoilers! Ooh. On that note, no, uh, Mr. Stark from Twitter goes, had a bad feeling from the beginning of the episode when Kavira mentioned the wedding. Now I feel bad for Batar. We know you meant Batar Jr. Yeah. I don't really feel bad for him. I feel like he should have known that she was heartless. Yeah. I don't think, and I don't feel like I honestly don't think that she's heartless. I think she just heart. had to do what she had to do to oh, get the job done. Oh, do you think but she But she cares just... more about that than about him. Well, I mean, she, yeah, don't you? Wouldn't one? She was gonna let him die. But it's her raison d'etre. It's her reason of being let's, to unite the nation. Let's say though. you were Kavira. You're gonna let a dude get in your way? You were, let's say you were Kavira and there was a, a girl that you liked, you, there was a smash and you were like, oh man, but I gotta take back the, li the land that was given to me because you believe in Manifest Destiny and all that crap. Sure, sure, sure. And she's like, oh, we can't take this land because I'm in it and they might kill me, even though they're not actually gonna kill me. They just won't let us talk to each other anymore. Wouldn't you blow up smash? <laughs> <laughs> no, I would I would get Smash back and then I'd retreat to my home place and then I would figure out how I was gonna take it later. First of all, I wouldn't be trying to take over anyone's land anyway. Yeah. But <laughs> But if you were, um I'd be like, oh well, yeah, you're right. Yeah. No, nah, I don't know. There's always time to try again. 
If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. If it's not this spirit weapon, it'll be the next spirit weapon. Eloy Esparza says, dang, Kuvira just entered the void and let go of her only earthly tether. Praise metal. Praise metal. Praise metal. <laughs> oh my Praise God. That was her uh, earthly tether, but. Yeah. Batar Jr.? Luckily, Batar she's Jr., not, yeah. Luckily, she's not an airbender, so. She didn't seem to struggle at all to let go of that last tether. Oh, man. no. She was like, okay, let's do it. All right, let's do so it. In that way, she's kind of even worse than Zaheer, because if. Mm, She's no. Zaheer she's just at more least clear. has honor. Zaheer yeah. has honor. Kavira has none. And Kavira is just very clear about what her goals are. Man, mm -hmm. I would study under Zaheer. I know he's a crazy mofo, a narco cynicalist, but I want to know what makes you so <laughs> narco cynicalist. Yeah, that's what he is. That's <laughs> what he is. But are you guys filming a fucking Peter Jackson epic over here? Hurry up! We got shit to shoot. Hell yeah! Shut up, Benjamin Franklin, time traveler. Hey! Hey, Benjamin Franklin, why don't you go back in time and prevent yourself from being born, you I shit? I found the new iPhone 6! Ah! Oh, they are in my tits. I was in Raina's boot. Yeah, that was it. Right. He's opening my legs. Benjamin Franklin, what do you want for Christmas Wait, this year? Wait, what's cold? What's cold? <laughs> oh, it's this. That pretty much wraps it up for this episode of Legend of Korra. We'll get the finale next week. I don't know how anyone's going to be prepared for it. Oh. I don't want this to be the last uh, of the show that we ever see, and and hopefully we get something in I'm the future. I'm not ready. I, I feel wanna, like there's a lot of things that need I to be I was going to surprise you guys, but I donated to Nick. I gave a whole $10, which is half the budget, and they put me into the episode. Oh, my goodness. That end, must be why they're on TV again. I turned into a giant spirit. Oh, mm -hmm. spoilers. I mean, spoilers, Rava. and I just break everything. Yeah. It's, oh. it's amazing. Rava. The spirit of light, Rava. Speaking. comes into me, of course stops being the avatar, and that's how I became the Speaking avatar. Speaking of budget, there the was some wonky, avatar. weird animation stuff this episode. It was yeah. like watercolor painted, and yeah. they used the same shot three times. Yeah, yeah. the it's, water That scene. is very anime-ish. It's it very is anime -ish. very anime-ish. Anime it's, it's 90s anime, though. If you've ever seen any episode of Dragon Ball Z, it's the same <laughs> animation over and over, over and over and over again. I will not blame them. Oh, I wait. will not blame them. Speaking of anime, what did the mecha remind you of? Oh, yeah, when we were watching it, I was like, <laughs> What Big is o? this? What is this? Ooh, that too. It could be like Big O. Castle in the Sky, it's Lapita? You're right, it's from Castle in the Sky. Uh, Sky. It also reminded me of, uh, from Nazca the Valley of the Wind, the, the giant uh, earth monster Monster? Oh, yeah, thing. yeah, that comes up. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that too. Yeah, why the Omu are reacting the way They're they always are. Uh, like borrowing from Ghibli, which is very beautiful. Especially mm. the spirit stuff. All right, uh, so folks, please continue to send us your tweets at the hashtag TV show show. And if you haven't noticed, check out these awesome shirts. Ow! Which feature uh, the SourceFed Nerd Crew is Team Avatar. Team. We, team yeah, Avatar. Avatar. Yeah, we got we got uh, Will, we got Reyna, we got DJ, and we got Sam as Ooh. benders. Oh, it looks so good. It's really, really awesome. I love it. I feel so You can empowered. check that out. You could grab it on ForHumanPeoples.com. Yay. I don't think I can let go of this many tethers and levitate. Let levitate. Yeah. We'll and Will, look at this amazing artwork. This amazing found. art that oh, someone made. Oh, thank you. Made. Someone go, who goes by Your Majesty. Thank you for drawing this wonderful photo of me, I dig it a lot. I wouldn't be that agile, I'll tell you that. And an Oopy is adorable. Mm -hmm. I love Oopy. If you looked like this in real life, I'd smash. You'd smash? Oh, Aww. thank you, Rain. Are you closing your eyes while hugging me? considering that he's real, he's real flexible. I like I mean, that. Yeah. yeah. He can uh, do some crazy positions. And I, I mean, I didn't want to speak of it publicly, but Oopy is disabled, and that's why he's been so small for so long. Oh, thank you for talking. <laughs> no, he's like a perma, perma little he's bison. A, he's a like, pygmy. Like, he's a pygmy bison. Pygmy bison. Pygmy you know, when bison. You, I forget how you get him to do that, but you know, it's breeding, and now Oopy's small forever. So thank you so much for watching. Tune in next week where we talk about the series finale of The Legend of Korra. Woo! Can't believe it's here. I'm Matt Lieberman. I'm Raina Scully. And I'm William Haynes. Forgot my name.